Welcome guys. This video is, uh, this was a request and I've done this video before, but it's gonna talk about how you can uh, align your milling with the different milling. Um, so as you see, I have three slots, one, two, and three. And also there's some holes over here but these holes they have to be in the center oh, let me see if i can so you see one slot second slot third slot and now we have these holes and everything has to be in the center there's no way i could get to all of them in one shot so what i did was i did these three slots now i pulled out enough of this part where i can align the center teach the machine that this is my C0 and then I'm gonna run continual rolling the, the milling uh, drill here 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 and it's gonna be perfectly aligned with this so the way the way you're gonna do this is when you look at the position of the turret right the, the turret kind of goes up and down on an angle so I position my keyway you can do it with uh, with the measuring blocks or with the pins if you have a hole same thing as you can put in a hole it works really good if you have flats because you can run um, you can run your indicator on the flat but then the indicator let me see if I can I'll have to move this if you have a flat then your indicator will be set like this Somebody mentioned something about an indicator on my previous video that I got a little too much slack on my, on my uh, whatever, whatever it is. And I kind of find it funny when people criticize somebody about the measuring tools you have. It's a fucking indicator. It's, uh, there's no, there's, there's nothing scientific about it. It just it has to work. So imagine if you had a flat over here on this face. Okay, so all you have to do on the flat is go up and down on the Y okay and once your Y it's perfect on the needle it doesn't move then you go to the C position C offset you teach enter and your C is on a, a zero and it's set but since this is since we don't have a flat over here we only have a keyway then you stick out your your gauge block or if a pin if that's all you have it's better than nothing okay and let me see if I can this is gonna be hard for me to do it a single hand just enough clearance between the indicator okay I'm gonna back it out a little bit on the Z it's pushing the let me see sorry for the video but like I said I gotta hold the camera in one hand okay back it up a little bit so as you see the needle I'm gonna be on my X axis and I'm coming down. I'm make this adjustment maybe so we can, like I said, get it closer to the zero. I'm already maxed out. Okay, so it's kind of like on a zero. So now, what I'm gonna do on an X, I go zero on a C, and you remember your C has to be locked up. It has to be connected. So when you're connected, you can press to put this on a C, and then in a handle mode. By the way, this is large moves and smaller moves. On a handle mode, 
you're gonna turn and you see okay let's say we have a 10,000 on the plus right so now I'm gonna go 10,000 so now sorry I'm I change my handle to my X and we're gonna go up and down okay so it still moves a little bit so the needle moves down okay so I'm gonna go back okay it's a 10 and I will rotate my C a little bit towards where it was going okay, so okay we dropped it technically let's see that makes a difference still moves a little bit but not bad okay see one more okay almost there perfect I'm gonna put on a 100 handle mode so a little bit smaller now I'm just gonna go back a tiny bit okay Riding the needle all the way, and as you see, it moved maybe two tenths. Okay. Now, so this is plenty good, good enough for me. So I'm gonna go here, set up info. C offset, teach. Okay, my C is at zero. So this is gonna be my position. So once I'm gonna drill here, it's gonna align with this keyway and everything's gonna be in line. Now, when it comes to the indicator, so this is a pretty good indicator, but it's a pretty large needle. It's not gonna be as inaccurate as something as you, let's say, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say brand names, but they're indicators that will indicate within uh, every 1,000, you know, every five tens and whatnot. So the better indicator, the closer it's gonna get you. So it depends on the precision. If like if you have a part that has to be, you know, that on perfect, then I would get like a smaller indicator. It's gonna be. Uh, let me see if I have one. Uh, give me a second. Uh, so there are ne there are needle indicators that, like I said, you know, they, they have smaller needles. So, for example, something similar to this. Same thing is you have a smaller needle. These are uh, these are jeweled, so they're actually very precise. Just very slight touch, and you'll see it's uh, what do you call it? And I have these in mid tutorials and everything, but I actually. Uh, I fairly most of the time kind of get away with these because like I said they have a lot of travel they're fairly cheap and uh, and if one goes to shit you know then I don't I don't swear about it because I didn't pay $300 for it right uh, but like I said I mean this this is plenty for me and for my needs and I have a 10,000 tolerance uh, so for my needs this is plenty perfect but if you need a little bit more details like I said hey you got a better uh, magnetic arm you got better you know indicator do whatever you have to but uh, this this like I said this uh, video is about you indicate on X up and down using uh, using like gauge blocks or me <clears throat> and measuring pins and whatnot the measuring pin is gonna be a little bit pain in the ass because it has to be dead center if you're gonna use a flat of the part then you're gonna have to go up and down on the part using a y-axis and like I said same thing is you're gonna rotate your C to put a point where your needle doesn't move if you needle moves to the right clockwise then go back and rotate your C clockwise. So go towards where you were before. And that's how you're gonna get it. With, like I said, after first, second part, you're gonna get a hang of it and 
it literally takes like uh, 20 30 seconds and you're gonna be right in the center all right guys uh, thanks for watching and see you next video